on everyone, welcome back. My name is Steve and this is my boy Honey. We have the Elmer T. Lee Bourbon, the highly sought after, the highly hyped major tater bottle. It's one of the most hyped bottles that people are after these days. And you know, the reviews on this are not that great. It's mostly average to maybe above average. So we'll open this one up. I've never tasted it in my life. So we'll open it up and see how it tastes and I'll let you know what my thoughts are at the end. I've been saving this bottle to do an episode like this. So I uh, can't wait to try it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to not have a bias on it before I open it up. So let's get right to it. Couple quick facts on Elmer T. Lee Bourbon here. It's made up of Buffalo Trace Mash Bill number two, which is same as Blanton's and Rock Hill Farms, if I'm not mistaken, and some of the other ones. It's mainly composed of corn and a little bit higher on the rye component here. So it should taste similar to Blanton's and, and Rock Hill Farms, but I don't know, never tasted it, so. So this bourbon comes in at 90 proof, 45% alcohol. So it's very approachable, I would think. Uh, shouldn't be too hot on the palate. So let's go for the nose first. Very fruity right away, um, like strawberry, raspberry, like that fresh apples, not cooked apples, like fresh apples. It's very pleasant on the nose. It's very pleasant, very fruit forward, fruit center. As far as the scent is concerned, it's very pleasant, very approachable, and I like it. I like it a lot actually. So let's go for a sip, guys. Cheers. That apple taste, that fruity taste, comes right to the palate. Transfers very well from the nose to the palate. I like that. But, yeah, another sip. No burn at all. No burn whatsoever. A little bitter. A little, a little astringent, a little bitter. The mid palate has a little bit of oakiness to it, a little woody, but it disappears pretty quick. But the bitterness sort of stays with you sort of little like a like a medicine aftertaste let's go for another sip vanilla is there fruit apple fresh cut apple you know i keep drinking it because the flavors are are disappearing pretty quick the mouthfeel is very thin and light same with the finish. It doesn't stay long at all. It's a quite brief experience, and you know that's why I keep going for another sip, another sip, trying to get more out of it. Again, the apples, fresh cut apples, a little bit of berries, is the most prominent character in this bourbon. A little oakiness is there, but it's bitter. I don't know, maybe it's just the neck pork, but it's actually bitter. The bitterness, that's the last thing that I taste as it goes down my throat. The mouthfeel is very thin. I mean, very thin. It doesn't, uh, there's no coatiness to it. There's no clinginess to it. It's not oily at all. The finish is also uh, subpar. The flavors are, are there and definitely there when, you, when, it, when it first touches the palate, but it makes an exit way too fast. Gotta go for another sip. Vanilla, coffee-ish, apples, and that's it, gone. The, the flavor is gone already, um, and bitterness lingers. Yeah, um, a lot of the good bourbons out there, the good bourbons, when you taste it, you're able to pick out the, the flavors relatively well. And if it's a really good bourbon, there's lots of flavors, and you're just picking them out one by one. The bourbon gives you time to sort of pick it out because it stays in your mouth, it stays in your in your palate, it stays in your tongue, it stays in all parts of your mouth. So it gives you a little bit of time to sort of pick it all out. This one, it doesn't. The Elmer T. Lee bourbon, it's good. It has the sweets and the fruit, but it's very short-lived and it doesn't give me an opportunity to enjoy it. It doesn't give, give me an opportunity to just pick out more flavors to it. I keep drinking, Hoping to extract more out of it, but you know, there's again the apples, a little bit of vanilla, and the bitterness is not that welcoming as well. Sometimes there's that dark gold foundation that gives you a little bit of bitterness, but it's not necessarily unpleasant. This one, the bitterness doesn't exit the stage, it just stays there the longest. The, the sweetness and the flavors of the bourbon 
makes a quick exit while the bitterness just, you know, does a few more dances before it goes off the stage. I don't know if that is a good experience or not. Well, there you have it, guys. That's my brief review of the Elmer T. Lee bourbon. What do I think of it? I think it's rather a little bit disappointing for a bourbon that costs $250, $300 at the liquor stores and bourbon that is impossible to find. I sort of expected more, but it's not giving me the experience I want. It's not even satisfactory in its delivery. And I don't know, uh, I would say this is a definite pass. I know this, a lot of people want this bourbon. I know a lot of people are looking for it, but did I enjoy this bourbon? I don't think so. I think it was actually subpar and a little bit disappointing. Is it a bad bourbon? I don't think it's a bad bourbon. I think it's just an average bourbon. It gives you the sweets and the fruits and that's it. No good finish and no good mouthfeel. You know, if you're getting to collect the bourbon from perspective of, let's say, you know, let's say you're a collector or, you know, you want to show it off or something like that. I'm sure I think it's a good bourbon to have if you could find it at MSRP, which is, you know, $60, $70. I got it for actually $99. If you could find it for $60, $70, I think, sure, maybe it's worth it uh, to have it on your bar and, and share it with your friends. But for anything over hundred bucks, I would not, I think for hundred dollars, I wouldn't buy it again to taste and to enjoy. There's so many bourbons out there that are much cheaper than this that gives you a better experience. That's all I have for you today. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the Elmer T. Lee bourbon. Have you tried it? And and what's your thoughts on it? Maybe I just had the bad batch. You enjoyed it. And what did you enjoy it about? Let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks so much, everybody. Have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.